Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Okay, today we are making a sourdough starter. It is so darn easy. You'll wonder why you didn't make one sooner. I thought it was like really involved in a hard process, but it's not. So what you're gonna need is whole wheat flour. Like this is a big bag and you really don't need a lot of it. So if you can find a smaller bag, I recommend getting a smaller bag. Um, but we'll just use this in the beginning just to get the fermentation process jump started. The wheat's pretty good. And anytime too, like when you're feeding your starter and you kind of want to jump start it a little bit more and get it a little bit more active, you could always replace the all-purpose flour with the wheat flour. You'll also need all-purpose flour unbleached. So make sure it has no bleach in it because you don't want the chlorine because that's going to kill um, the bacteria that we're trying to grow. So to start your starter, you're gonna need a jar. I just use mason jars, um, but they sell other canning jars and stuff. On Amazon, you can grab these at Walmart, Target for fairly inexpensive. We're gonna place half a cup of the whole wheat flour inside the jar with a quarter cup warm water. Um, filtered water is best, so I just get mine from my refrigerator water, but you do want it warm to kind of jump start it. We're also gonna store this in a warm space between 70 to 80 degrees, ideally. So I just put mine in my lower oven, and then the first day I'll turn the light on in the oven just to keep it pretty nice and warm. And then I haven't been doing that, and my starter has been growing just fine without doing that. But you want consistent um, temperature. So maybe in a cupboard, pantry, wherever you think would be the best spot. So let's get started. We'll start by adding a half a cup of whole wheat flour to a glass jar, followed by a quarter cup warm water. Then you are going to mix to combine and you can add a little bit of water if needed. It needs to be the consistency of pancake batter. So you'll just keep mixing until it's all combined. Once you are done, it's ready to be stored. Okay, so I'm down here on my lower oven. So not my main oven, but if you only have one oven, that's fine. Just don't cook your starter, guys, because I did that. Um, so if you're keeping it in your main oven, just be very mindful. Maybe put a big note, like starter inside. So I'm just going to put my mason jar lid on. I'm not going to tighten it. I'm just going to sit it on top of there. I'm going to place it on my rack here in my lower oven. I'm going to shut this. I'm going to turn my lights on so they stay on. And they it will get warm in here. You'll be surprised. I'm going to do this for the first day. And then the next remaining days, I'm going to leave the light off. But if you ever want to jump start like your starter, um, I would do this. Put it in the oven, turn the light on, and it just gives it a nice hit of heat in there. And it will start to grow really fast. So this is day one. Okay, day two of your starter. You're not going to do anything. Um, you can check in on it. The top of it should be a little bit um, bubbly. If not, it's okay. Uh, I think my second days, I usually have a couple bubbles, not a ton. Um, you may even start to see some hooch, which is like a dark liquid forming on top of it. Um, but day two, we're just going to leave it sitting in the oven and not do anything until day three. Okay, so here we are on day three. Um, with the magic television. It's all been one day for me though because I I made myself a new one and then I've been making my cousin one so I was able to film both. Day three, it has doubled in size. If you can see there, if my camera focusing on there, it has a lot of bubbles on the inside top here. It smells horrific. Like it smells. <laughs> I did not get a lot of hooch on this. Um, I don't know why, maybe because it's the wheat, I'm not sure. So now we are on day three, which means we're gonna remove, we're gonna discard half of this. On days three through six, you will discard half of the mixture. Your very first day, day three, it will look very gummy like this. I also like to add a rubber band to mark my starting spot. Then I'll add half a cup of unbleached all-purpose flour followed by a quarter cup warm water and repeat these steps throughout the next six days. So you'll discard half every morning, you will add the quarter cup of unbleached all-purpose flour and a quarter cup warm water and you'll store it in your oven. And keep repeating until you start to see good bubbling and growth. So on day six, it should be doubling in size and you should have really nice bubbles on top. 
We have officially made it to day seven with our starter. Congratulations if you made it this far. Okay, so at this stage, you should really be seeing consistent bubbling in your starter. Hopefully it'll focus in on that. Um, you should be seeing every time you're feeding it, it doubling in size, coming back down. If these are things you are not seeing yet, that's okay. Probably the most common problem would be that it's not in the right temperature. Remember, we want to keep this at a consistent like 72 to 80 degrees. So if yours is not showing signs of activity, what I would do is place it in the oven with the light on like I've been doing, on and off. Um, maybe wrap it in a towel, keep it in the pantry or a cabinet. You just want to maintain that consistent temperature. So if you're not seeing the activity with the bubbling, the growing, um, then continue on doing the discard half feeding for the next up until 10 days. So another three days, see what you have, make sure you're keeping it consistent. But thankfully, mine has been looking good. So I'm gonna discard half, I'm gonna feed it the half a cup of unbleached um, all-purpose flour, the quarter cup of warm water, and then I'm ready to go to make my bread. So I'm very excited about that.